The Alchemist. So this is a book that I just read. This is so deep and powerful, I avoided it forever. And to be honest, I, it was one of those books that you read it and you just feel, holy shit. You, you, it's like you just got hit by a truck going 100 miles an hour and you just stood there. I remember just reading it and I just looked up. I was reading in bed. I just put the book down when I was done. I, I just looked up. I was like, what the hell did I just read? That was insane. It just, it goes so deep into life. And the author is, I didn't even know, his, he had a massive following. He's got like a million or two million followers on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. And the guy's a massive celebrity. I didn't even know. However, you got to pick up The Alchemist. Now we're going to move on to books that maybe you wouldn't think I would actually recommend. So if you're a woman, uh, or if you're a guy, or if you're a cyclist, I highly recommend this book. It's called This Road I Ride. So This Road I Ride is about a woman who had a very, very difficult childhood. So when people say, oh, I had a really tough childhood, or my parents are blah, 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 or my blah, 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 listen to what this girl went through. She had a ridiculous, uh, something that you can only read in the book. So the book essentially just goes over her mindset of traveling around the world, of biking across the United States, and it's insane. And it, it really motivates you. She also has very powerful quotes, whether it's it, she meant to do it or she didn't mean to do it. But it's one of those books that you have to you have to go outside your comfort zone, including myself, on what you read. Because I read a book like this and I, and I just feel so moved and motivated. Number one is I'm a cyclist, and number two, yes, an athlete and, and everything else. But when you read someone that has done this after no training, literally no training, biking around the world, you, you, you're floored. You said, what else can I do? And that's what she thought. And she actually went into a funk because she, she rose to the top and she said, what else is there to do? I biked around the world already. So I guess it's bike around the world faster. All right, moving on. Now, these are two books. I don't know if you're into the military or not, but these are two books that is uh, two books that are, I should say, that really will, will put your, your life into perspective because a lot of people say, my life is challenging or I have problems or anything else. Read these, these two books. Number one is Unbroken. Unbroken is by Laura Hildebrand, and essentially it's about a runner in World War II. It was, he was an Olympic athlete in World War II, and he gets pulled out of the Olympics. He goes into war. He gets shot down. It was a, it was a movie made by Angelina Jolie and I'm just getting just emotional even thinking about just what he went through and it's it's a thick book and he, he gets a he's a POW in the Japanese uh, camp and it, it, it's very very disheartening you know what what these guys went through and it gives you a deep appreciation that you have a problem my internet's not working this guy was getting beaten every single day for years starved to death he was treated like an animal and he made it out alive. And it's, again, it's one of those books along with uh, the, where you just, you, your mind takes over and that's the only way you survive. The other one is Fearless. Fearless is about, and the reason that I'm, I'm you know, blanking on everything is because I've read this in the past and it still has moved me. Fearless is about a SEAL Team 6 member that just, just an absolute boss. And it's, it's one of those things, what he went through as well and what he overcame and what he did in the military and what he overcame in the military and then he sacrificed his life and he's dead. And it's, it's one of those things that you, you, just, you just say, dude, when someone talks about bitching and complaining, put it in perspective because it's, it's nothing. Uh, you'll know, you'll, uh, <laughs> oh, how to win friends and influence people. Dale Carnegie, uh, massive classic. Obviously, it was built. It was, built. It was uh, written in 1930-something. This was the second book that I read when I was going through my self-development path. And really what the big takeaway in this is obviously how to win friends. And it's not about like winning friends, but it's actually about influencing people. Is that we're influencing people that we work with, we work under, we work for, our parents, our children, our society, anyone. We, we need to sell all the time. That, that's, that's, that's how, we, that's how we, we, we survived as humans, is that we, we work together. One of the biggest takeaways is use someone's name. Always use someone's name. If you see a name tag and they're helping you out, yesterday this guy came in, there was a, a blood drive, and this guy came up and he started talking. You could tell he's an older guy and everything else. And, and I said, hey, Skip, and immediate, immediately he lit up. And I, I learned that 10 years ago from reading this book. Moving on, The Success Principles, Jack Canfield, obviously just an absolute breakaway. He is also part of the original crew in Jim Rome and everything that he writes about in the book is 
literally just you need to know. The success principles is all these books, some of them are mandatory, but some of them are just, you just need to read. Obviously I went over the one thing before. The other one, which is more of a, uh, just an, an amazing read about someone that's actually changing our life. I don't know if there's a reflection on it, but Elon Musk, who obviously, hopefully you know, he, SpaceX, Solar City, and Tesla. Uh, I actually invested in Tesla in the early days in 2009, 2008, and it was a, an amazing investment. However, everyone was saying it was gonna fail, and I just prayed, not even for my stock that I, because I invested in it, because I just knew, I believed in Elon, and in those early days, you have to read this book because what he, what, what, what he experienced, because everyone doubted him. He is taking a rocket and sending it into space, no one, who has done that privately? Probably no one besides maybe a, Lockheed Martin and, uh, Lockheed Martin and uh, who, do they, who do they go with? And I forgot the other company that they actually, they go with, but they get governmental help. This is a private company. Yes, SpaceX got governmental help as well, but they are eight times less expensive. So read all those books, feel the fear and do it anyway, relentless. And then here's another one that I haven't, that I brought up before. Actually, here's three other ones that really quick uh, bonus, which is the five minute journal. Highly recommend that. Five minute journal, I talk about that in my morning routine. And the daily stoic, which is essentially stoicism. I think I'm saying it right, stoicism. It was written and uh, it's, it's one page a day. So read that and then the last thing is there's a guy, uh, he has an HBO special, I just saw it, it's called My Way and it, it's an amazing book. You'll, you'll know when I'm dead, when I stop talking, you'll know I'm dead. That's the name of the book. Highly recommend that as well. He talks about the early days, the 50s and the 60s, building a company, failing, losing everything, and then rising up like a phoenix. So go check out those books. Highly recommend it. Those are my book recommendations that you can pile through this year. Obviously, some of them are longer than the other ones. Some of them are only 100 pages. And then you have books that are 400 pages. So it's up to you which ones you want to apply up plow into. Obviously, all the links are below. Yes, they're affiliated with Amazon. If you buy, I get, I don't know, a couple pennies or a dollar or whatever. But it, it, number one is, you know, it's up to you. I just want you to read the books. And if you click on the link, awesome. If you don't, not a big deal. The reason is confidence comes through wisdom. And I'm going to have a, a video about that. So have an awesome day. Subscribe to the videos. If there's any book recommendations, leave it in the comments below. Talk to you guys soon.